Hi everyone, welcome to this candle scry reading. We're gonna do a candle scry. We'll probably get some cards out on top of this. I have my crystal ball out as always, so I will be scrying throughout the duration of this reading in the crystal ball. Now, uh, I do my readings a little differently, so if this is your first time watching me, uh, this may be a little different. If you find that this message doesn't resonate for you, just leave it behind for the people who it's actually meant for. Okay. Okay. So, um, I feel like I'm supposed to look at it this way. Uh, right off the bat, I see a home. And I see something kind of hemming around the home. I see a person here. And I'll show you this. So, I'm seeing this kind of like a house. Uh, I'm seeing this almost like a, a barrier around the house, but then I'm also seeing this, uh, it looks a little different in the viewfinder. I'm seeing this right here is a person that has their head hanging. So um, I don't necessarily feel that the person that I'm reading for is necessarily hanging their head, um, but I seem to be reading for somebody that you isolate quite a bit. And um, this is a message that's coming through from spirit to not isolate quite as much. And we're gonna get into this a little bit to see who exactly we're speaking to. There does seem to be some sort of loss that we experienced in the past that has started off this phase of isolating. And it may not be that we're isolating necessarily because of the loss, but something in conjunction to this loss has caused us to isolate, maybe out of necessity. Um, I am seeing a bunch of people here now, so there's a there's a huge crowd. Maybe um, for some of you, it might be that you have a lot of responsibilities here, and that's why you're isolating because you just feel like you don't have time. For others of you, you're isolating because you don't trust people. So we're gonna see um, uh, which direction spirit wants to take this let's see there is an energy of being let down however so i don't know if you had been yeah <laughs> there's an energy of being let down uh so i don't know if you were connected to someone in a relationship if um you were connected to friends and someone really let you down and so you just decided to kind of isolate a little bit more or maybe you just feel like you don't have friends because of some something like that um, we do seem to have walked away from something however and that is part of this isolation process what can you tell me Okay. What they want you to focus on uh, is your happiness. So creating a life that you want. And so for some of you, there's things that you want in your life. You want better friends, you want good connections. Uh, maybe you wanna be in a relationship and you're not in one. There is a message for someone out there or a small group of people out there that you don't have to isolate anymore. That maybe we've gotten so used to isolating that we're forgetting that in order to have the life that we want, we have to get out there. I keep seeing like a clock in the um, crystal ball so that's making a little bit more sense to me now because that really signifies for me that time is running out or that time is really precious in this case i'm not saying that time is running out it's more so that uh time is really precious and we're, we're wasting our time isolating because of some situation that really shouldn't have had the power to make us do that yeah and this is about home and this is about transformation so they want to transform, they want you to transform the habit of being at home constantly. Now, or they want to transform your home life, meaning they'd like you to go out and meet someone. Now, for some of you, this may mean that there was a change in the home, like a passing that happened within your family and this caused you to isolate a little bit more. Okay, they know that this is going to be hard for you, but it's vital for you to um, start to go out more so that you have a little bit solid of a foundation, meaning for some of you, what you're noticing is um, maybe you've gotten trapped in a job that you don't like, or maybe you are running out of money because you're not working. This is even going to be feeling really socially anxious when you're out and uh, not feeling like you're safe or comfortable when you're around people anymore when you do go out. And this is because we've been alone too long. So there's something here where they, they, they want you to focus on what you have to offer, that you're actually a person that has a lot to offer other people. And it's not that we owe other people anything or that we owe to like give humanity anything, um, but you have a lot of value, you have a lot of things to offer, and they would like you to be able to see this reflected in the people and the connections that you make. Now, again, this is a form, for some of you, this is a form of self-sabotage, of getting in our own way, because in doing this, this is something that we can control. When we are out and we're connected to people, how people wind up being, how they end up reacting towards us, how they end up treating us, we don't necessarily have um, like 
3D physical level control over that. There, we discuss other times um, in other videos the uh, internal control that we have over that, right? So I don't want to go into that for that for this video. That's not the purpose of this video. So uh, we're isolating because we feel like we're safer. We're isolating because we feel like we have more control over that. And this is something that Spirit's actually saying that they would really like you to get out of. And obviously, you know, that's your choice. That's your choice. I think that for some of you, this is causing like this almost uh, mood swing energy for some people. Uh, and I'm getting that from this Two of Pentacles. There's a little bit of this up and down roller coaster energy that's going on for some people because of this. And that can happen sometimes when we're inside too much. We don't get enough sunlight or we don't get enough human interaction because at our core, we are very communal creatures. We're very tribal, right? Um, not everybody needs that. That is the truth. Not everybody needs that. But if you're recognizing that your emotions are starting to become a little unstable, it might be good to go out. And, you know, some people, they feel like, well, I don't have anything to wear. I don't have anyone to hang out with. Those things don't really matter. You know, they really don't matter. We make those matter a lot more than we think they do. Um, just watch people walking down the street. <laughs> You'll notice it doesn't really matter what you wear out there. Right? <laughs> and, um, yeah, this is kind of the energy of like, don't wait for other people to be around you. Don't wait to have friends to go out. Go out and enjoy life and have your experiences and learn how to be okay out and about on your own. There is some sort of emotional balance that does need to be achieved for some of you regarding this here. Really learning to fill your own emotional cup because some of you are isolating and you're staying at home and you're just getting more and more and more depressed, you know? And there's a time to throw in the towel and understand why that's happening, right? And it's almost like um, someone here is like clinging on to dear life to know I'm okay, I'm okay, just isolating. And this is kind of like Spirit's confirmation coming through saying, no, you're not, you know, you're not. Uh, now, others of you are okay isolating, and like I said, that's absolutely fine, um, but this is really a message coming through for somebody who is kind of, um, they're, they're wasting their time doing something that is making them unhappy, right? And this seems to be a byproduct of being let down or being disappointed or being very hurt in life, and um, that gives a lot of power to the people that hurt us or to the situation that hurt us when our entire life gets derailed and uh, we stop enjoying the outside world because of this over here, right? So that's kind of the message that's coming through right now. In, in that essence, these people have won, right? It's like we've, we've gone away and we've kind of hidden and sulked and we've allowed other people to win. And they would really like you to kind of get your energy up, go out there, start talking to people, start, you know, seeing the world, start traveling again. Yeah, um, they, they really want you to understand that you are ready for a new adventure. You're ready for a new way of life. You've been in this sort of hermit mode and um, closed off for a season. And, you know, that was probably very appropriate for that season. And uh, but we've been there a little too long. And so they'd like you to come out of your shell just a little bit more. What What is going on in this next season? What is it that you have in store here? We have the warrior. And so this is really about standing in our power, right? We again, like I said, we've given our power too much to this situation. And um, when we do that, what winds up happening is we start living under the shadow of victimization. And it pushes us lower and lower and lower. And we get more depressed and we feel more victimized and we feel more powerless and we feel a little helpless and um, this oftentimes is in our head it's just a perception and so they'd like you to regain some sense of hope by shedding this perception and really standing in that warrior energy of you know screw these people screw what happened you know uh this this situation is not going to take power over me and it you know it's not going to affect me anymore and really get out there and enjoy your life and have fun you know take yourself to a coffee shop go out and find a job that you really like something that's fun for you Let's see, what else is there? One more. Okay, and the judge here. Uh, for some of you, this is really telling me that some of you are um, really living in this energy of being afraid of being judged. Maybe this is something that's happened uh, in the past. And you know, you're never gonna stop people from being judgmental. People by nature are judgmental. And um, this is just one of those things in life that we have to understand this is how it is It's not personal to you. It's not anything about you. This is just how people are like people are super judgmental You know, like uh, we all get this we all get this from people and again 
really stepping into your power and understanding that, you know, you're not someone that's being judged more than anyone else. Uh, it may feel that way, you know, it may feel that way, especially if you view yourself as different, if you have something that makes you unique, right? Um, but that's not a bad quality. And for every kind of unique quality that you have, even if it's something that you view as an uh, impediment, uh, it's something that other people find very beautiful and very inspiring. So it is important to get out there and to be happy and to not care so much about this energy. To really stand in this energy and say, I'm myself, I'm proud of who I am. And if, maybe that's where we have to work. Sometimes we have to work a little, you know, a little lower on the pole uh, to really get to the root of why certain things affect us a certain way. This is really the energy that I feel from somebody who has had many people kind of turn against them in their lives and really disappoint them or someone who has suffered a severe loss and has just been really trying to cope. Uh, this message is also for you if you're in that boat, but I do want to focus on the people who are uh, dealing with that sense of just constantly being betrayed. If you're not really happy cloistering away in your home, um, it's very good to be very honest about that with yourself. If you are happy and you're perfectly fine with that, then by all means. Um, but this message is for somebody who's not happy with that. And so, uh, you know, it's very important that we're honest with ourselves in terms of our own happiness because nobody else is going to come along that's going to make you happy. Nobody else is going to come fix things for you. And at the end of the day, you're the only one that's responsible for your happiness. Other people and their behaviors really aren't responsible responsible for that and that's a very tough pill to swallow um but it's the truth right um it's not up to other people to do things to act a certain way to behave a certain way to make us happy that's something that we have to figure out on our own and we have to generate for ourselves and um we don't need to give these people that kind of power over us to be able to determine whether or not we're happy and so there may be something there that we need to work on first um but yeah the, the message is that it's time for you to go it's time for you to like you know butterfly wing out and fly out that door and like uh, go hang out places that you used to enjoy. Do things that you like to do. If you don't know what you like to do, go explore and figure out what it is that you like to do because uh, we are deserving of happiness. We're deserving to go out and have these experiences, um, you know, to not be afraid to go out and do things by ourselves or to enjoy that time by ourselves. Um, we have this weird concept and we're married to this like perception that if we don't have anybody around us that we're very lonely and like nobody loves us and uh they kind of want some you know if this is if that's you they kind of want you to step outside of that energy and recognize that that's just a story that's not true we over identify sometimes with being the victim or being not good enough and if we're doing that to ourselves we really have to get out of that energy right um and why wouldn't you want to if you want to be happy so there is there is it's definitely a push right it's a little bit of a firm push from spirit to like go out go do things get out the door like you deserve to make yourself happy and um don't wait don't wait for you know someone to come along and save you from the situation or to change your life or something to happen because it's not going to happen you're the one that gets to decide if you're going to do it so um yeah if this resonates for you please hit that like button feel free to leave a comment you know and if you're somebody that used to seclude away a lot um you know leave a comment to share your experience of how you got out and what you started doing uh i myself i seclude away a lot and i quite enjoy it <laughs> i'm very happy so uh you know there's some of us that are like this too but uh, this message is specifically for somebody that isn't very happy so uh i wish you the best of luck with that and until next time